Hello and welcome to Pop Sing Seoul, K-pop fans' favorite hangout spot, and I'm Eddie. Cutie, one of the top female singers in the K-pop industry, has released another solo album after three years. Her first solo studio album, Love and Hate, released in 2013, topped various music charts at the time of its release, and her latest album can be summed up as 333. Okay, let me explain. She spent three years preparing for it. It has three special concepts and it will come with three different music videos. Kyori is a celebrated singer who's praised for her powerful dance and singing skills, and she's also a versatile artist who can handle RB, hip hop, dance, ballad, and more. She has done a lot of collaborations, including the ones with international artists such as Georgia Mortar, a master of electronic music, as well as American electronic group Far East Movement. For her solo album, she joined forces with Doki and Jay Park to deliver a fantastic sound. Now, I'm going to start today's show with Hyorin, who's bound to wow you with her new music. So, are you ready? Music video, start! It's now time for a pick and talk, a Q&A session with the hottest K-pop stars. When K-pop stars visit pick and talk, they must brace themselves and get ready to answer truthfully to all of the questions, including the tough ones. Once again, today I have another kind of interview with K-pop stars in store for you. So get ready for another wild ride on pick and talk, which starts right this minute. Is there an idol star that you absolutely love or maybe an idol star that you want to learn more about? Then this is a segment you shouldn't miss out on. It's time for Bias Fanatic, where we focus on an idol star who's triggering a bias among K-pop fans. In order to gain success as an idol star, you need to have it all. You need the looks, the talent, and plus, you have to be very witty, funny, energetic, and more. The star I'm going to focus on today is someone who has it all, and plus, he's a relatively a fresh face in the K-pop industry. Fana already seemed excited about today's bias fanatic. Well, before we get started, let me give you a few hints about him. He's one of the seven boys who are very lucky, and he's like the younger version of Oktaegyeon, who's called Bingu because he seems dumb in a cute way. Hmm, can you guess who it is? Afana is very close. Now, before I reveal who it is, let me warn you, the entrance to developing a bias for an idol star may be large, but the exit is teeny tiny and there's no escape. So, now that you've been warned, let's get started with today's bias fanatic. Today we'll focus on Youngjae of GOT7. Before we get down to the details, let's first check out his basic profile. GOT7 Dub, the boyfriend idol group, is comprised of seven members who are all very good looking. You can find Youngjae by looking for the guy with a mole underneath his eye who kind of looks like an otter. They look so much alike that you can't even tell them apart, right? Well, it's too soon to follow with him just yet. When he debuted it, Youngjae seemed to be screaming, I'm a rookie at all times. Among the members of GOT7, his training period was the shortest and perhaps that's why he seemed a bit awkward in the early days of the activities. Hey, you go to watch one go, Matana. Young Jay didn't seem like he was ready to be on stage, seeing how awkward he was at first. When you're a rookie, you're bound to get a little nervous in front of the cameras and you just get a tongue tied. Well, Young Jay tried to force out whatever he was trying to say, and the way he said his name resulted in his nickname, Tae Young Jay. Now, you can totally tell that he was feeling nervous and awkward in that video clip, right? But I think the viewers found it enduring and wanted to comfort him with love. His awkwardness as a rookie caused a lot of biases and his fans are becoming a little bit disappointed that this attractive trait has been disappearing over time. But hey there, there are still lots of reasons why Youngjae should be your bias. He actually has so many attractive traits, as many as the number of planktons found in the ocean. Well, one of them is his smiley eyes that his fans absolutely adore. Even Nikko praised him for his good looks when the 2PM member was asked who was the best looking member of GOT7. He picked Youngjae because he's very attractive even though all his facial features may not be perfect. 
Yes. So if you think Youngjin is the visual member of God 7, then I think you're about 50% on your way to developing a bias for him. Now, he has long single eyelid eyes, so when he's expressionless, he can seem a bit cold, but once he gives off that killer smile, he'll immediately melt your heart. His unpronounced laughter is another reason why many people have fallen for him. <laughs> His laughter is so contagious that he'll just crack you up even when the other members tease and torment him. He's always smiling and laughing, which shows what a nice guy he is. Young Jae seems like a pingu at times, but he's a very hardworking guy who's truly a professional. Have you heard him sing? I mean, wow. <laughs> His crystal clear vocal sounds very refreshing. Hmm? Youngji, the main vocalist of God 7, says that he relieves his stress by singing and he even sings in his sleep. Some of the main vocalists of idol groups are not very skilled when it comes to dancing. Youngji also began receiving dance training after he joined God 7. That's why there were days when he spent all day practicing dancing when he was a trainee. His hard work paid off in the end, and he's become a great dancer like the rest of his group. Now, we got to zoom in on Youngja of God 7 today. He may not be the most handsome guy in the world, but a lot of girls still find him very attractive in terms of his looks and personality. So have you pulled toward Youngja like a magnet? Then congrats, you've discovered way many people that Youngja is their bias. Bias Fanatic, a segment of Idol Stars. By Idol Stars and for Idol Stars will continue next week, so make sure you tune in again. I can't believe it's already time for us to say goodbye. That's all I had in store for you today. And I'm going to wrap up the show with the K-pop cover videos on Be Like a K-pop Star. And remember, I want all of you to send in your song requests and messages for me. So, if there's a music video you want to watch on our show, then let me know on our homepage, Facebook, or Twitter. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye!